Again at 5 o'clock with breaking news, we are now awaiting an update from Bel Air Police involving a police officer in Bel Air who died after a police chase. As soon as the news conference begins, we will go to it live. New details meanwhile continue to pour into our newsroom in the death of that Bel Air police officer. Good evening, I'm Lauren Freeman. I'm Bill Baiesa. Thanks for joining us. Here's what we know so far. The officer was killed in a motorcycle accident that happened on Ferris Drive and Beechnut during a high-speed chase. The officer lost control and struck a parked car. You can see his motorcycle there. We have team coverage for you this evening, beginning with Channel 2's Robert Arnold live on the scene. Robert, that officer was chasing suspects after a robbery or a burglary? Sadly, what started out as a shoplifting call is what ended in the death of a Bel Air police officer. What we are told from police is around 1.40 this afternoon, the, tar the uh, officer was flagged down by employees of a Target in Meyerland Plaza. That's about a mile away from where this crash happened. Those employees told the officer that the two men had been shoplifting inside the business. The officer then saw those two men chase them, and that's what led to this crash. We're about to get an update now from Bel Air Police, so let's go ahead and go to that live, and I'll come back after that and wrap up. And had a collision with a landscape trailer that, that was along the chase route. Um, officers arrived and they found Officer Zerati. Uh, he was not conscious and not breathing. Uh, ambulance arrived. Uh, they transported him uh, to here to the hospital and en route they started CPR which was continued uh, here at the hospital but uh, they had to stop CPR. It, it was not uh, achieving the desired effect and Officer Zerati died uh, shortly thereafter uh, that uh, got to the hospital and had to stop CPR. The accident uh, involving Officer Zerati's motorcycle actually occurred in the city of Houston. Um, so the Houston Police Department is investigating uh, that part of this incident. Uh, it is our understanding at this time that Officer Zerati had just cleared from a call and he heard uh, a robbery in progress uh, dispatched over the Houston Police Department radio. He saw a vehicle that matched the description and stopped the vehicle in Meyerland Plaza. There is a clothing store there by the name of Talbert's. He stopped in the area of that store at some point, either after he stopped him or after he exited his motorcycle to approach the vehicle, the vehicle fled again and a pursuit ensued again. Uh, the pursuit was in the area south of Marland Plaza. It came back north. There's a street that intersects Beechnut named Ferris. Uh, we believe they turned on Ferris, but it was there just north of Beechnut on Ferris that Officer Zerati hit the uh, trailer. Um, Officer Zerati was a great guy. He, he always has a smile on his face. He's married. Uh, he has three daughters, 125, and he has a set of 11-year-old twins. Uh, the family is grief-stricken, as you can imagine. They're all here. Uh, we believe that we have notified all the family. And uh, at this time, I would like to thank uh, Memorial Herman Red Duke Trauma Institute. Everybody here at the hospital has been extremely helpful and there are some folks up here with me that I would like to introduce. I'll start on this side. This gentleman here is Mr. Paul Hoffman. He's the city manager of the city of Bel Air. Next to him is Assistant Chief Mike Leal of the Bel Air Police Department. Councilman uh, David Montague. Thank you David. I appreciate that. And next to him is Mayor Andrew Freeberg. And on this side of me, uh, I'm sure that y'all are familiar with Harris County District Attorney Devin Anderson, who is a Bel Air resident. And she's here simply to express her support for the city of Bel Air and the officers. Um, and then next to her is Mayor Pro Tem Roman Reed. At this time, I'll, I'll be willing to answer some questions. I would, like I said earlier, there's just not a whole lot of information that we have. So if I can't answer it, it just means that I don't have the information. So does anybody like to start? Yes, uh, Anthony, common spelling, Marcos, M-A-R-C-O-S, Zarate, that's Z like in zebra, A-R-A-T-E. He's 52 years old. Uh, he's worked with us since 2009, and he's a Marine Corps veteran. Anything else? He's been nominated for Police Officer of the Year. Excuse me? He was once nominated for Police Officer of the Year? Uh, yes, he was. I believe that was the Optimist Club Police Officer of the Year. I don't have the year of that information readily available. 
Uh, I left the office. I didn't even have a pencil and paper. I had to borrow some from the hospital so I could make some notes so I can get that information. We'll be releasing additional information uh, probably later tonight or certainly first thing in the morning. It's really just dependent on us having information that we can give you. All right, you've been listening to a news conference live with the Bel Air Police Chief about the death of Officer Zarati. Let me give you a little bit more information that we got from Houston police who are working the investigation on this. As you heard the chief talk about, this officer spotted two men who matched the description of a pair of guys who were suspected of shoplifting at the target there in Meyerland Plaza. Originally, that officer was told there was a weapon involved. It turns out those two men had box cutters that they were using to get those anti theft devices off of the merchandise they were trying to steal. The officer pulled their car over in the parking lot there in Meyerland Plaza. Just as he turned his head to radio into dispatch, that's when police say those two men took off and the officer gave chase. As he rounded the corner onto Ferris Street heading towards Beach Nut is when he hit a trailer filled with lawn equipment. He was rushed to Memorial Hermann Hospital and unfortunately lost his life. They do not yet know if the officer had even time to radio in much of a description of the two men that he was chasing or a license plate. As soon as we have some more information, we will update you. Reporting live from Southwest Houston, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.